People ask me all the time, where am I flying to your city? Where am I going to fly to you? Dan would love to attend one of your seminars when you come to my city. The answer is fucking never. What if I never come to your city? What if I never fly to your town? Then what are you gonna do? What if I don't come three years, five years, 10 years? You're gonna wait fucking 10 years? It makes no fucking sense. Don't wait. Nobody's gonna come rescue you. Nobody's gonna save you. You got to show up and you got to go to what Ever, wherever it takes. I remember years ago when my mentor asked me and said, hey, I want to have breakfast. I flew to LA just to have a single breakfast with my mentor. And you're waiting and you're waiting and what the, what the fuck are you waiting for? You're waiting for me to come to the city? You're waiting for the perfect timing? You're wa waiting for everything is perfectly lined up? You're waiting for what's convenient? The problem is you put your convenience ahead of your conviction. Convenience and conviction don't live on the same fucking block. So you gotta think about that. You don't need me to fly to your city to make a change. I have students in now over a hundred countries. If you're serious, you can join my high tech closer program. You can do that virtually, remotely, from the comfort of your own home. You don't need me to fly to your city to change your life. If anything, you need to fly to me. I ain't coming to you. I don't need to go to anyone. I only do one event per year and that's for my inner circle students. I'm not gonna do a seminar in your city, so don't fucking wait. I have people fly over, moved over, immigrated to Vancouver just to work with me and join my team. What about you? You're still waiting, you're waiting for the perfect time. It's not gonna come. So you ask yourself how bad you want it. Instead of just fucking commenting, oh Dan, yeah, I hope you come to my city. I'll fly sometime to fucking, uh, I'll, I'll show up to your event. That's why you're fucking poor. That's the issue.